And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast, weather from where you live. Right, we have increasing clouds this morning and a few scattered showers south of Lafayette making its way northward. But a quick look at temperatures mid 60s, 67. Good morning to Peru, Flora 65, 70 down Lafayette, Attica down the Wabash, Covington 70 degrees, 65 up in Morocco. Rensselaer, Remington 66, so really not a bad start, kind of humid out there, but it's going to get a little bit more warm and humid as this warm front lifts through, but it's going to uh, kind of take this track, the area, this is an included front where the warm front and the culvert kind of meet up, uh, but the low pressure, the area of lows well up to the north, this will kind of linger over the Great Lakes into tomorrow. Will give us wraparound showers for Tuesday, but this cold front and the occlusion will give us the chance for some strong, potentially severe storms this afternoon. But as of right now, you can see some of the showers working through the viewing area to our south, heavier rain to the south and east of our viewing area, and we may see an uptick in showers over the next several hours. But as of right now, Linden, Romney down 231, seeing some scattering showers really north of I-70, Vetersburg, and uh, heading into Frankfurt, Kokomo within the next uh, half hour to an hour off toward the south and east of Lafayette. So just be prepared. We'll have a few couple showers, maybe a rumble of thunder this morning. Here's 8 o'clock going into 930. This is the warm front lifting through and then look out to the west here. The, the, there's the cold front. Some of these showers and storms will begin to develop. We may even see some st storms ahead of the front that could be strong to severe as well. Here's 2 o'clock if we get the sun out and really warm things up, but this is going to be a really a wind driven event. So damaging winds, even a quick isolated tornado can't be ruled out with some of these individual cells as they race off to the northeast, uh, which is the uh, storm movement of these uh, uh, individual cells. So here's five o'clock this evening moving through Lafayette. After the cold front passes by six, seven o'clock, we are in the clear. But that low, as I said, will wrap around some showers, maybe a few rumbles of thunder for tomorrow. There's the level one risk for now for the W5 viewing area of the entire region. Out of five, marginal risk can't rule out just a severe storm or two. Nonetheless, stay weather aware this afternoon. Those are your threats there. Damaging winds, large hail, maybe just an isolated weak tornado or two. Today's plan or again, the better chance of rain and storms comes in this afternoon. It'll be a scattering to isolated chance, not a widespread chance of rain as well as tomorrow. More scattered, just a 20% chance highs only in the mid 70s. Pretty brisk tomorrow as well with that north wind gusting 25, potentially 30 miles per hour at times. Moving ahead, Wednesday looks nice and sunny. As we get toward Thursday, the American GFS model shows nothing, uh, but the uh, European, which is right here, could show or is showing maybe a scattering of storms for us Thursday afternoon evening. We'll watch this closely, but that is the last rainfall basically on the 10 day uh, that we'll see beyond Thursday. So it's going to get hot and humid. We'll stay in the 70s though Wednesday. Isolated shower storm Thursday afternoon. We'll keep an eye on that. And then as we get toward the rest of the week and into the weekend, it's going to turn hot and humid. We're looking at lower 90s for next week and heat index values mid to upper 90s potentially into the triple digits. So we're not done with the summertime heat yet. No, we're here, not. John. Triple digits. That's not what you want to hear. But <laughs> no. hey, it's going to be nice for the kids going back to school. You got a preschooler heading back this yes, week. That's exciting. This, uh, yeah, this morning is her first day, so she's excited for that. She was all <laughs> excited to go to bed last night. Uh, uh, so, uh, but yeah, if you're heading out this morning, yeah. may have a few sprinkles, uh, so just be aware of that. All right, stay dry out there, Ellie, and have a good first day of pre-K. <laughs> all right, thanks, David.